So in this video, we're just going to set up a drum and tune it purely from scratch. So a drum with literally no drum heads on it right from day one. So if you're new to drum tuning or if you're changing the heads and you don't normally change the heads very often, then, then have a look at this video. This is really, the idea is to keep things as simple and as straightforward as possible. And we'll use the iDrum Tune app just to help us towards the end in making sure that we've got sensible frequencies and the drums operating and vibrating as uniform and as evenly as possible. So first things first, start off with the drum with literally no heads on it. And I'm just gonna put the drum heads on uh, one by one, introducing the lugs. So we'll start on the resonant head side. So on the bottom, literally just placing the drum head, making sure it's just even and flat, and placing the rim, aligning the rim with the lug holes. And then we literally just add the lugs. So it's a bit slow, but I prefer to do it by hand. And the reason for that is so that I can make sure that I'm giving the same kind of treatment to every single lug. So by doing it by hand, uh, I know exactly what sort of tension I'm putting on on each lug. So just trying to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, so all the lugs are in, but they're not tight, so still very slack. So I'm tightening these by, by hand, as tight as I can do them. So I'm doing two at a time. I'm literally tightening each lug as tight as I can go, purely with just my fingers. And then on to the next ones. So make sure as tight as I can get them with my fingers. This is what we call finger tight. And this is a really good approach because it means that we've applied exactly the same tension to every single look. And at this moment in time, although the drum head's quite slack, I can be pretty sure that I've put exactly the same amount of, of force on each one. Now, the drum head is still slack, it's not vibrating, so that's clearly not tight enough. So what I do with the drum key, is, uh, is to just give every single lug exactly a half turn. And, and then I know that every single lug has had roughly the same amount of tension. And what I'm doing is I'm tuning each one in slight, and I can just feel that one's still a bit looser, so I'll give that one a little bit more. But on the whole, I've tried to give every single lug the same kind of treatment. And, uh, and I don't know if you noticed, but I was using a star pattern to tune, um, to make sure that I didn't just tune this side and then this side. So using opposite sides and then over there and over there and over there. So we use the star four. So that's got the resonant head on. Okay, it vibrates, it makes some noise. Drum doesn't sound very good yet. Let's turn it over. And we'll do the same with the batter head. So again, Put the batter head on, put the rim on, the lining. If it's a brand new head, you might want to stretch the drum head a little bit, just because we know that brand new heads just sort of stretch a little bit in the first few days being used. And again, same thing, add the looks. So it's a little bit slow to get the lugs in by hand, but we don't generally take the heads off all the way that often. So this is once every now and again. And, uh, and actually it's not, it doesn't take that long after a while. When you think about it, it's only a minute or two. Ok, 
Okay, so now I've got them all in. Again, same thing, I'm just gonna tune each one, just, or tighten each one, just with my fingers. To the point where I can't tighten it anymore. So those two. Okay, so again, these are now all as tight as I can make them with my fingers. Okay, great, now we've got the drum heads on. Start tuning. It's still a bit loose. So I'm gonna again, just give each one half a turn in the star form. Okay, so now the drum heads are on. They're all fairly evenly tensioned, I can be sure of that. And it sounds like a drum. So, now the question is, is that the sort of frequency that we want this drum to sound? Um, it might be a bit too high, it might be a bit too low. So let's use the iDrum Tune app now and just take a reading of it. So we're going to pitch tuning mode. Just take a reading, so I'm hitting the drum in the center with the microphone close, hitting it quite soft, don't have to hit it too hard. Okay. So that's reading, almost luckily, 110 hertz, which is actually a perfect A note. Well, that might be a bit high for what I want. I might want it to be tuned a bit lower. And actually I know that I like this drum to sound around 100 hertz, a bit lower, a bit more of a rock sort of feel. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna nudge down every single lug a little bit. And see what reading we get now. Okay, that's 88 hertz. So I'm just gonna go up a little bit, Take another reading. Okay, now we're a bit nearer the 100 hertz, so 98.5. That's a G note. And at this point, we can have a bit of experimentation. You can actually start to think, actually, how do I like to play? How tight do I like my drum heads? Do I want to tune quite high and sort of musical, which jazz drummers tend to do? Do I want to tune quite low and sort of more strong and powerful, which rock drummers tend to do? And there's a little bit of experimentation there in personal style. And, uh, and it's, it's worth sort of looking at some of the settings in our drum tune, which will show you some examples of what frequencies to tune particular drums to. But now we've got the drum head sounding okay. Sounds like a tom drum. Um, it's tuned pretty evenly, it's pretty good. The next thing we can do is just double check all of the lug positions around the drum and check that they're all fairly even. So we've tried to keep them even, but we don't know actually if they are or not. So I'm just going into lug tuning mode on our drum tune. We now just take a reading at every point around the drum. So there's my first reading. What I can see from this reading is that actually there are two lugs which, and is often the case, two opposite lugs are, are lower than the, other, than the other four. So what I want to do is I need to equalize that. Now, if I want the drum to stay around the same frequency, I don't just want to turn one set of lugs up. I, I sort of need to, because that will turn up the frequency of the whole drum. So I'm going to turn the others down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is these that were low, by minus 10, I'm going to turn up a little bit, and the others I'm going to turn down by a little bit. And I'm going to take another reading.
Okay, so now we can see they're much closer together. There's just a couple of hertz between them now. So we've got a bit closer and now we can, we can really start to say, well, that's pretty even. We can be pretty happy with that. Okay, well, that's it. The drum's tuned. It sounds good. It's got a smooth tone. It's at the right sort of pitch. Um, and, uh, and the only other thing I can do, or immediately, is to sort of turn the drum over and if I want, I can do double check the frequencies around the resonant pair. So let's just do that as well. Okay, here I get another result which shows that some are different to others. So I'm going to do the same approach. The low ones I'm going to turn up. That one, this one, this one. And the others I'm going to turn down a touch so they stay around the same place. And then take another read. So I can already see that, again, by doing that and moving them so that they're much closer together, I can hear the tone is actually improving because it's not warbling as much, it's being smoother. Let's just turn that back over. Now we've done that, and just take another reading of the overall frequency. The drum, let's get it in there properly. So I'm just going to go back to pitch mode. Now it's just gone up to 103.5. So if I did want it back down at 98, that means I've just gone a touch high by loop tuning. So I'm just gonna nudge these all down a little bit. There we go, we're back down to around 100 hertz again. So the key is, is really just to take things simple, do things slowly, methodically, um, make sure that you adjust every lug a similar amount at all times until, of course, you start to do lug tuning and then you can just nudge the ones that become clearly out of place. The other thing is, is to just do some experimentation and find out exactly what frequencies you like your drums to be. And of course, you kind of need the whole drum kit to do that. But once you've got the drums sounding good, like this, simple, smooth, solid tone, then you can go around your kit and decide, have a bit more time to decide which ones you want to be tuned higher and, and, and low, and whether you want the whole kit tuned low or the whole kit tuned higher. And, um, and again, there's more features. There's the preset manager in iDrum Tune, and there's some other blog posts on our website which will help you decide which frequencies to tune your drums to.